Hi guys, uh, it's Detroit uh, again. Today I'll be showing you video number eight of the Japanese Imperial Air Force. Okay, uh, some of the units that you see here I painted quite uh, a while ago. Uh, some others I recently painted, uh, which are fresher and look a little bit newer than the others. Okay, uh, the first um, miniature that I'll be showing you is the Kate torpedo bomber. Uh, let me see if I can zoom in. Okay. Right here. Alright. This particular miniature is from historical board gaming. Alright. The next one is a K-51 transport airplane, which is the one all the way in the back, right over here. This uh, miniature is also from Historical Board Gaming. Okay, my next uh, miniatures are actually from the original board game, and it's the Mitsubishi Zero Fighter with a white and green uh, camel scheme. Of course, uh, probably, I believe that the Mitsubishi Zero Fight was probably the most famous of the Japanese uh, aircraft. Okay, over here I also have more Mitsubishi Zeros, but with a green uh, camo color scheme. These uh, Zero Fighters I, I painted like about three years ago. When I first started painting, they're a little bit worn out because uh, they've seen uh, a lot of action, a lot of use in the past uh, three years or so. Okay, uh, the next miniature I'll be showing you is the G8N Rita Heavy Bomber. Okay, then the next one is the uh, G4M bomber. By the way, uh, the heavy bomber, this is uh, made by Historical Board Gaming. And the G4M Betty bomber uh, comes with the Axis and Allies board game, which are these four that I have here with two different color schemes. Um, obviously, one is a, a gray, I mean, correction, yes, yes gray color scheme with a uh, with the red decals of the Japanese emblem and here you have a uh, green uh, color scheme okay okay um, the next are the k161 Tony fighters which were fighters that were uh, basically land-based units for the Japanese army. Unlike the Zero, that was basically for the Japanese Navy. Okay, these are made by historical board gaming also. All right. <clears throat> now these here, with the white color scheme, uh, these are miniatures that originally came with 
the Axis and Allies board game, which I painted a while ago with a, with a white camel scheme. Okay. All right, and over here. These are Japanese light bombers. I'm not quite sure what type of fire bombers these were, but I believe they were Nakajima light bombers. I have uh, four of them. Okay, three of them are with a green camel color scheme, and the one here is a combined uh, color scheme with uh, green uh, wings, tail wing, and white uh, fuselage. All right, let me uh, zoom out so you can get a better view of the entire collection once again. <clears throat> okay, guys, uh, this is it for video number eight. Um, my next video will be video number nine, which will be... Uh, the Japanese Imperial Army. I'll show you my land units, artillery pieces, uh, tanks, uh, half tracks, and what I have of the Japanese Army. Okay, uh, once I do so, I will show you upon request. Uh, somebody asked me if I could uh, show show a video of the ja uh, of the Russian uh, my Russian collection, which as soon as I finish showing uh, the Japanese collection. I'll start with my Russian. Okay, guys, uh, thanks for watching and until video number nine. Thanks.